Vince Nair from Slingshot, you know, Hi, Vince. there aren't many situations that you guys haven't been in at this point, but when you guys went down in the first half and the third map, you know, how, what did you guys just do to kind of, you know, get back into the game? I think that we won pistol round. Yeah. This, <laughs> uh, this is kind of for us the story. Uh, uh, it's really good when we are able to win City like pistol round and then the second round, the first buy. When we win this, we really have uh, good City sides. So it felt that we can do it after winning first three rounds. I can add that our point was to start T side because recently we've been just struggling because City uh, moves often. So we just took the T side and winning the pistol round uh, at City helped us a lot. That we have a lot of. Nades, so we could uh, take care of all the map. Um, you guys surprised by how they played on cash because they did something they hardly play at all, and they, they just kind of took it to you for a while. Um, I, I can lose head for it, but I was surprised how we played cash. It's, it's not only about this side. Uh, this side was actually like we had a plan, take middle, take control. It was good when you were taking control. We just missed like one flash or two flashes more, and then we always killed the guy who was close. But we didn't flash enough, so this was our fault. But on CT, we just gave them everything. They, they could do everything. Uh, only B was fighting with them. Only on B, we tried to push them. We did something good. We went door like maybe one time or two times. But overall, we just gave them the whole map. We gave them whole middle. and. Uh, when you have middle on cash, it's without fight. It's it's really easy for T side, even if you have no strats. Yeah, Colin. Uh, Kevin Hitt, WSL Sports. Uh, you know, one of the things that you guys kind of debunked the esports world in is keeping your team together uh, through thick and thin. You don't let a lot of problems get to you. You guys are seem more like family and brothers. How much of that do you bring into matches such as today? to help you get through uh, and get a victory uh, being down like that? Uh, I think first thing is that we don't blame each other. Uh, when we see someone struggling, we uh, try to help him, like give him a nod or maybe hit him hard in the back. Bialy can approve. Uh, it helps. Yeah, I, I said Cuban not to uh, you know, uh, hit me in the he back. And I think it, didn't, it, it was bad, bad call. <laughs> <laughs> Next time I'll tell him, hit the head. <laughs> <laughs> like the, the thing is that the, such winnings as this, it's, it's building our friendship and like being a family even more than, than for the other teams. Yeah. And we are getting bold together. <laughs> It's a really short part of time, but uh, when I'm standing behind the team, I'm like collecting all the information players are giving, so I'm already prepared for 30 second speech. So yeah, so it's like <laughs> so, so it's like two ways. One th one way is when Cuban is like rapping to us without music, man. You should listen to it. <laughs> and the second is we just let Neo meditate because he's uh, you know getting red and stuff, angry on us. So we are like, uh, so he is taking time out. Okay. <laughs> and 10 seconds later, Kuban is like, <laughs> he's going with his rap. We'll take two more questions, go ahead. Uh, from Macau. Uh, do you think the lack of experience of North cost them the game? I don't think they lack experience. They won Epicenter. They, were lo they lost the uh, first map against us on Epicenter very badly, and they came back and won, like crushed us in two maps. I think if we would lose this game, it would be like what experience gives us. But uh, I think that uh, the most important thing is that this is the major. This is extremely big event for everyone. So maybe you can crumble a bit when things are not going your way. But for us, we are lucky that we had China. And China really showed us. Yeah, and what, what we've learned. <laughs> What we've learned in China that uh, experience sometimes it doesn't give you advantage, but it's the opposite. And uh, you could see when uh, North was playing as City, maybe they are not as experienced as we are, but they just run r r roll over us as, as a City. We couldn't do anything, and like we didn't have a plan what to do. We just won the rounds when we played just standards and just 
let's go and kill them. Yeah, maybe maybe to add up to that, uh, I think that uh, in CSGO, uh, inexperience helps you more than being experienced. Because when you are inexperienced, you are doing really b stupid moves or aggressive moves. And most of the time uh, on big events, it can catch off guard the teams. And uh, when you are experienced, you, you kind of get very angry or mad if you die from a stupid play. And then it's not stupid play if you die, but in your head, you are mad. <laughs> All right, last question, Jacob. Uh, Jacob Wolf, ESPN. Uh, you, so I guess the expectation of you guys at, at big tournaments like this is to win in the quarterfinal, right? But that, you guys look extremely challenged in that. Was that what you were expecting against that team? We're just looking forward for next game, and this is it. We are not thinking about winning the major yet, but just always focusing on the next upcoming game. Yeah, I mean, you, you could say that uh, the team we played against uh, was extremely good. Like everyone saw that uh, theoretically the weaker teams are the stronger teams, in a way. Like you had uh, North, you had uh, Fnatic. Uh, no, no, North, Gambit, and... Uh, uh, everyone. Uh, and Astralis. So you had teams with 3-2, which basically were extremely good, and uh, there is no weak team in Major. Just to touch on that, do you think this is the most com competitive playoff that we've had in Major? No. Which one do you think was? I think that we have SK playing with stand-in, uh, which doesn't help. Uh, we had first round of strikes against Navi, obviously teams which everyone is hyping the most. Uh, we had uh, Fnatic against Gambit, which could for some people uh, look like Luster. And uh, basically, yeah, I think that uh, the only quarterfinal uh, which was yeah, kind of equal. I think the answer okay, to this question is... Okay, like Kiko, yeah, he always does that. <laughs> <laughs> what, what I want to say is like uh, making a major in January is not an advantage for any team because like everyone needs a break in, in for the Christmas and like not all the team, all, not all the teams could practice that much as, as we did. We didn't do any break. We just played, all, yeah.